Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 28. Tap connectors to the common grounding electrode conductor for multiple separately derived systems shall be made at an accessible location by A. A listed connector. B. Listed connections to, and that should be aluminum or copper bus bars. C. By exothermic welding process. D. Any of these. Okay, if I had a question like this, my experience would have me mark D any of these and I would move on and here's why because I have done this with B aluminum and copper bus bars and by C exothermic welding process and so I figure a listed connector uh, would also be acceptable somehow so I would mark it D any of these and go on and come back to it later and just double check it if you haven't had that experience and you want to look it up and of course everything we're going to do here we're going to show you exactly in the code we're not taking anybody's word for it because a lot of times these quote unquote old veterans talk about something in the code it's not there okay they're just either making stuff up or they really don't know and they've been kind of faking it their whole career on the job it's unbelievable but you might have even run across uh, guys like that okay so what are we going to be looking at Okay, we could look under tap uh, connectors in the index. That's where I really want to go. Now, something here to keep in mind, you've got separately derived systems, and uh, you've got grounding electrodes, but let's go with uh, tap connectors. Here we are with the index under taps, and we want to find something that's going to help us here. Now, we have equipment grounding conductor, and that was kind of part, we talked about a common grounding electrode conductor. Let's here we here are uh, grounding electrode conductors right here. Okay, if we keep going down, we have separately derived systems. This was going to be one of our possible choices on, on where to look in the index. And to me, this is something that's kind of specific, and it's separate from grounding and conductors and things. So, if I have this choice, I am going to go and look here. So let's look right now, separately derived systems. It's 250.30A4. Here we are in the code at 250.30A4, right here. Grounding electrode conductor, multiply, multiple separately derived systems. Now it says where more than one separately derived system is installed, it is permissible to connect the tap from each separately derived system to a common grounding electrode conductor. So this is basically telling us that it's permissible to do it, but our question is asking us what can we do or how should we do it. So this is the bottom of the column. We have to go up to the top of the column on the, other, uh, on the same page and follow along in your book. Here we are at the top of the next column, and as we continue reading, we're, we're already in section 25030A4, but it's saying these shall comply with A4, A, okay, lowercase a, through A4, lowercase c. And so that is going to be just below us because we have some exceptions. So if we scroll down just a little bit, we're coming in. And we see here's our A, common grounding electrode conductor size, B, tap conductor size. Well, uh, now these would be like the bold headings. These are in italics, so you would read and see if, if that matched what we wanted. Let's go down to C. It says connections. Okay, now our question was asking us about how to make the connection. So, A, a listed connector, that's on there. Okay, our second choice, listed connections to aluminum copper bus bars. Okay, now, and here it gives specifications of a, but however, our answer just asks if it was aluminum or copper, and our other choice, exothermic welding process. All 
three of these were uh, given as possible answers and of course choice D was any of these so the answer of course is choice D any of these and my experience would have paid off and I would have got this question right very quickly thank you for watching this video please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this if you find this video helpful please consider donating using the PayPal link below thank you